Welcome yogis. Today we do a very complete exhale. And in fact, we'll use the whole body to make this exhale happen. So find yourself standing in a comfortable position. Move the shoulders around, even sway a little bit. Rock the head, finding breath. and then standing in stillness. Breathing naturally. Make your way to an exhale and make it a little extra complete. And then inhale. And again, an exhale, and an exhale so complete, you have to use your waist, your tummy, your pelvic floor just to get everything out. And inhale. And we'll keep going like this. Exhale so much, you actually have to move your body and kind of contort it side to side to cinch in the waist, to pull the abdominal wall back, empty all the way. Keep the firmness of your low belly as you inhale, stand tall, expand. Again, exhale all the way to empty. Remember, re chaka, come all the way out. Find that little moment at the bottom where you're totally empty. Urge to inhale will be strong. Let it happen. Stand tall, expand. Three more times. Exhale all the way out, however long it takes. You can move your body to do it. Inhale. Twice more. Exhale. Get empty. Hollow out. It's Udi and Abundant. The belly draws up and back. You might even have to protract the shoulder blades, pull them apart. Empty. Inhaling. Last time like this. Exhale all the way out. Do what you got to do. Inhale. And then a more natural breathing. Continue natural breath, but let's keep that in mind so that at key moments in your practice today, you can exhale so powerfully that you get all of your core musculature involved in holding the breath out. Then it's this really pr profound moment of transition where you breathe new life in and expand, almost as though you were reborn. Okay. Let's find our way to the top of the mat with feet hips distance, releasing the shoulders and arms. Sweep your arms wide and overhead. Take hold of your left wrist, reach up and over to the right. You can bend the knees. Inhale through center, take it to the other side. Again, the knees can bend, find that exhale. Notice the ground beneath your heels and start to activate your core even from the feet today. Up through center, Get the feet just slightly separated, only about an inch. Keep your connection firm at your heels. Send your seat back as you bend your knee in chair pose. Inhale, look up. And dive in. Flat back. We'll step or spring back to lower through vinyasa. Downward facing. Sweep the right leg out behind. Place this foot between your hands. Climb up to high lunge, locking thumbs.
and send the right hand back behind you like it could wiggle into the left side waist. Left hand flips back and we're going to lift the chest a few breaths. And we'll switch the arms, making Peaceful Warrior. The back heel can ground as you inhale. Exhale, roll your hands down. Come to the inside of this foot. Walk over to the left, parallel the feet, length and spine. And fold. Keep the connection at Mula Bandha because we're going to take this upside down, practicing a little bit of press work today in headstand when we get accessible. But at first folding. Good, get long. I'm gonna set up for headstand pressing. So if you'd rather bring this to the wall, feel free, go ahead. You're gonna plant your hand in a tripod headstand. So head, hand, hand, make a firm foundation, a triangular foundation. You're gonna step your feet back just a couple of inches. And come onto the toes, press through hands. And if you feel you have the stability, you're gonna float your legs up. If that's not happening, practice bending one knee, flicking the other foot, okay? And then do it on both sides. Bend one knee, flick the other foot. So it's coming more from your angle, ankle and foot than it is from your knees, which would constitute a, a hop or a bounce. Okay, if you absolutely have to hop, you hop, but if you can avoid it, do. Otherwise, okay, we make your way all the way up. Join the feet together. Then I present a little challenge, and that is just to take your straddle, flex the feet, and then lower as close as you can to the ground, and come back up. Rejoin the legs. Twice more if you've got it. Straddle, flex the feet, lower as close as you can to the ground, come back up, join the legs, Last time, split the feet, flex the feet, lower, and lift. Join the legs, and we gotta get down. So we'll widen the legs, flex the feet, slowly lower. Balls of the feet, heels, get long in the spine. Let's point the toes out a little bit and bend into the left knee. And then bend over into the right knee. One more time over at the left. And then head way over to the right. We're going to frame the foot, set the knee down. Untuck back toes. Squeeze in at Mula Bandha. Lift your heart, send the shoulders onto your back. Right hand to the waist, left arm reaches up and over. And if the floor is close by or a prop, you can take fingers to the floor. Let's make some room. Back through center, look up, reach up. Exhale, hands to frame the foot. I'm going to tuck back toes, find standing split. Keeping the squareness. Right hand might encourage you by taking it behind the calf or ankle. Let's keep emptying out. Remember compression, the belly to the thigh. Even remembering a touch of Nauli. Little press walking backward. So get your hands to the top of the mat. Your right foot's gonna be a few inches behind them, maybe six inches, almost a foot behind. Press the ground away, straighten the arms, pull the shoulder blades apart, feel a little cat in your upper body, and you'll come onto the toes and hop a little bit back. Okay, and then depending on how strong you feel today, you might rock forward again, come onto toes, and then hop it back. A couple of you will float this, or some of you will float this. 
And then again, we're going to be a little bit of a flick and a hop. Keep your hands in place, though. One or two more times till you're at the back of the mat. And eventually, a vinyasa. Mm, downward facing, connect to breathing. Sweep the left leg out behind. Place this foot between your hands. Steady footing, lock the thumbs, reaching up. Keep connected. I'm going to slide that left arm behind you, snuggle it in somewhere like a twisted, peaceful warrior. And then switch the arms, back heel grounds, peaceful. Roll the hands down inside the foot, walk them over to the right. We first start in a fold. So you might get your feet a little closer than they were on the other side. Bow forward, go where you can go. And if you're very flexible, get a sense of compression. Sits bones roll high, belly attaches to thighs, even if you've got to bend the knees. And you keep a sense of the bundas as you walk in really, really deeply. About five breaths. Inhale, flatten the back, come to fingertips. Now I want to invite you into another inversion and a press practice. So if headstand was challenging enough, I'd stick with headstand, okay? Uh, but if you're up for a forearm stand, even if you don't press it today, we can work on the strength to get you to start pressing in forearm stand. So it would look like this. Get your elbows all the way up toward the edge so the hands will be on the ground. You'll need some space for this, so the feet can come to the other edge of the mat. Spread your fingers really, really wide. I'll flip around. If your hands gravitate toward each other, that's fine. Just make sure the elbows don't go too wide. So you want to keep your elbows underneath your shoulders. And then you're going to rock onto your toes. Press the ground away, so push into the palms. See if you can create a little more space between your shoulder blades as you do that. And then set the heels down. Okay. Let's do it again. Come onto toes. See if your body leans too far forward or tries to collapse. And then rebuild that integrity by pressing the hands down, lifting out of the shoulders, and then set the heels down. And we'll do it about five more times. And if you get to a point where you want to float up or even flick up, go ahead. I encourage you to try not to use your knees. If you've got a flick, it's going to be from the ankles and the feet. Okay. Five times. Go ahead. On the exhales can really, really help, by the way. Even the lightest hops is cool. You really, you're building strength everywhere. You're building strength, sure, at the shoulders, but even more so likely at the back, even at the core, at the low back, at the glutes, at the hamstrings. So don't feel bad if this doesn't come. Last little cue is that it's really um, a, a pelvic tilt that helps you to get into this. So you'd be tilting your pelvis forward. In other words, popping the sits bones up. So maybe one or two more tries. And then lengthen the spine. Point the toes out, come on over into the right side. Let the left toes point up. This time we'll go a little deeper than we were before. If you wanna add the arms, go ahead. Even a bind is welcome. Mm. 
and take it over to the left side. One more visit over at the right. And then pivot around, frame the left foot, set the knee down. Squeeze Mula Bunda, lift your heart, send your shoulders onto your back. Now left hand to the waist, right arm reaches up and over. If you've got a prop or the ground, go ahead. Breathe to your angles. Inhale up through center, gaze high. And exhale, frame the foot, tuck the toes, find standing split. Remember compression. Okay, we'll be using some of that press action to get ourselves to the back of the mat. So hands at the top, left foot about oh six inches behind your wrists. Spread the fingers, put a little cat feeling in your upper back. Okay. Come on to left tippy toes, and then can you flick yourself back a few inches? Try it on the exhales. Keep thinking compression, so you rock forward as you exhale, come to toes, flick the foot, and then send back. Go ahead, two or three more little reps like that until vinyasa. And flow. Downward facing dog. Setting yourself up in Shavasana. So important. And because we've done so much for the shoulders today, if you want to close with one arm in front of the other, you can drape them across your body. Of course, if that's a distraction, opt for a different variation. But I'll wake us in this in several minutes. Return to the breath layer and into movement. And climbing up for a seat. So glad you're here, Yogi. Happy end of year to you. I look forward to next week when we begin entirely fresh all over again. Stay in touch. I'd love hearing from you. Wonderful week. Namaste.